Right, welcome back to a brand new goal hanger video on the channel. It's been over 500 days since I was last at Pride Park for a match. And today it's the first game of the 21-22 championship season. It's Derby County versus Huddersfield Town. Now, it's going to be a tough one. I'll only mention this once and hopefully not have to mention it again. But Derby County, we do have many off the pitch issues, which has resulted into us not having too many first team players. So we are going to have to rely on the academy players as of now, as it stands. We did manage to sign three players yesterday. That was Richard Stearman, former Huddersfield Town player last season, if I'm correct, centre-back there. Ryan Allsop, the goalkeeper from Wickham Wonders last season. And we've also managed to sign Curtis Davis on a new contract because we didn't manage to register him at the end of last season, so he's counted as a new player. So we managed to sign him. Three new players through the door. Kel Ruse has been said he'll start in goal. Obviously, Jason Knight and Christian Bielik are injured. It's going to be a tough one for Derby County, but I'm going to predict... A 1-1 draw. I take a draw. It's going to be a really tough one to Derby. I think Huddersfield Town, they're similar on our level, are going to be finishing in and around where we're finishing. Everybody's predicting Derby County to finish bottom of the championship. I hope that doesn't happen, but I can understand why they're predicting that. So, first game back, let's just go and enjoy. Hopefully, Derby can get a positive result. Come on, you Rams. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. That looked like a penalty from here, wasn't given. This one nil, great ball. Defending awful. Oh. Solid off to be fair from Derby. 1-1. One, one. Both teams look pretty level. I think 1-1's one, deserved at half time. Good goal from us. Probably, no, it wasn't a penalty early on when Tom Lawrence ran around the goalkeeper. Maybe the Louis Watson challenge. Okay, Maybe that was a penalty, but Huddersfield's goal, poor defending by who should have picked up the tallest man on the pitch. Free header, really. Maybe Ruse could have come off his line, but I blame the mark in there. Our goal, not a bad one from the corner. Just went over the line. The end said Curtis Davis got it, but it seemed to be a scrap on the line. 1-1. One, one. We're not creating many chances. Huddersfield looked dangerous from corners, free kicks and crosses. So... We look better going down the middle, so we're going to have to see what's going to happen in this second half, but 1-1 as it stands. Come on! Yes. 
Right, it has ended. Derby County 1, Huddersfield Town 1. Not the greatest of games, but a goal on the opening day and the score prediction correct, as I predicted. It's what you want, isn't it? Now, in that first half, I'd say there was a few more chances that, than there were in the second half. I think 1-1's a fair result. Both sides maybe had half chances to win the game, but nothing really clear-cut. Derby's goal... We had probably two decent chances before that. Lou Watson was tumbled over in the box, but the ref said no penalty. And from my view, I couldn't really tell whether it was or not. Tom Lawrence then went round the Huddersfield goalkeeper. He went down a bit easy. It wasn't a penalty. So that goal come from a corner. Nathan Byrne, I think, was the one who whipped it in. Curtis Davis claimed the goal. Well, he didn't claim it on the radio, but it got given to him. But apparently it was an own goal from the Huddersfield man. It was tumbled into the goal. 1-0 Derby County and then. Not so long later, free kick for Huddersfield. They looked dangerous on the set pieces and crosses. Whipped in the tallest man in the box. Saw heads it in the free head. A really poor marking from Derby. I haven't, apparently we haven't been able to work on set pieces. But even then we've got to do man marking. Because we've tried zonal marking for the last couple of years. And it just hasn't where we do concede from set pieces. And it once again happened today. In the second half, there's a few more chances here and there. You know, the keeper of Huddersfield was forced to make a couple of decent saves. But they were all half chances. And Derby and Huddersfield, we both looked like we could need strengthening all over the pitch if we're going to compete to a decent level in the division this year. Because both of us lacked a goal scorer. Obviously, Huddersfield had Jordan Rhodes, but... He's been off it for the last few seasons. Both of us just lacked a goal scorer, you know. And Derby, I think we do need to get a striker through the doors, hopefully, in this coming week. And hopefully that's Sam Boldock. Obviously, Sonia luco has gone to Ipswich after he's been training with us. But hopefully we can get Boldock through the doors. If not, we'll have to look to someone else. It was also announced before the game that Ravel Morrison has signed for Derby County, which is fantastic news. A quality player there. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. We've got the Salford City at home vlog coming on Tuesday night. And then it's Peterborough away. Away days are back. Follow my social medias in the description. Comment what you thought about that game down below. And I'll see you in the next one.